Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rookie Balboa run where I'm trying to beat legendary Iron Man with nothing but rookies. Damn right, it is rookie time. And we are on another supply raid mission with many, 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 many losses on uh, the mission. So I was uh, thinking we might shake things up a little bit. And uh, the question is whether or not we need more than one explosive. Given that there are losses definitely go uh, that are definitely going to be on this mission, um, we might be better off with uh, tracer rounds and the ability to just kill a lot of losses. We definitely take the ultrasonic lure, which has been quite an MVP item in this run. I wouldn't have guessed it is so useful, but the fact that it has two charges and that we can almost ignore the losts whilst we are pounding away at the enemies and the enemies sort of just get overwhelmed by that, by that swarm of loss, that's really helpful. So I would say in a specific run where you do have not enough aggression potential, not uh, in between the eyes, not uh, sidearms, no sidearms available. I can definitely see that that item has its function uh, functionality and I would have never appreciated it as much if I wouldn't have uh, done the choose to lose campaign where I was focusing on B tier items and really weaker gear and skills uh, all around. If you have not seen the choose to lose campaign yet, great plug in and a segue go and uh, search it up. Uh, it is on my channel, it's on YouTube, choose to lose XCOM 2. For now, let's jump into the mission and get going. Very good, look at that. We are ready to go. Good, we gotta eliminate all of the enemies. Which sort of makes it a no-brainer to be careful. Glad I brought, uh, brought my Serpent Suit with us, because this here is fantastic high ground, which we elsewise would be able to use. Moving. I love it when a plan uh, starts to play out as indicated. Hostiles making the rounds. Alright, resisted the fear of mechs. Very good. XQ6. Well done. Shinrod, we're not in a timed mission, so there is really no point in just rushing. And Axe is uh, at his side. Battle Brothers for life. Alright, there are certainly lost somewhere around here. And I equally wouldn't be surprised if we find ourselves uh, with a Chosen. Alright, x 6 gets up here. Still trying to create that bond between both of them. Moving to designated coordinates. Moving up, nothing. Perfect time, however. Try on the hook. To hook up, you know. Hook up. Well, my terrible puns aside, that's actually a pretty decent position right there. And just use the high ground, to be honest. Shimrod moves up. And these enemies will start to find one another. Nope, and they are not yet ready to do that. Instead, we're moving up all the way to the edge. There we go. Now they are ready to find one another. Alright, 
Okay, they are barely out of uh, range from one another. That's interesting. Good, so shield bearer could be 100% hit. Or the Archon. Look, let's try for the shield bearer first and we'll take it from there. Nice little crit. Oh, look at that. We got a mech on top of it. Just to make that whole pack a little bit more difficult. I will just go with a mimic beacon for that triplet. But who would uh, throw potentially slice an Aether? X6 has blue screen rounds, so let's start peppering the mech because 90% shot missed. That's unfortunate. I was about to say because the mech is the most dangerous enemy. take a bit of care let's try to at least get rid of the shield bearer uh, our mimic beacon will need to carry a lot of weight here You're going to be all right. hate to use that plus teamwork but I don't want to immediately get in a position where well, we're taking damage hit the armor. down to one hit point that is unfortunate this whole turn is quite unfortunate all around okay mimic beacon Shield? No. Alright, but they miss. That's good. Minimum damage would have done it as well. <laughs> okay. That's an elusive mimic beacon. This guy here is a problem. I have to hit the mech and I have to hit it hard. Another 80, 88% shot. I think we're just going to reload mech as the first and primary target. Don't want to use another another uh, mimic beacon. So we got like what two, four, six, seven. That's ten hit points. Uh, we will need blue screen rounds in order to do that. And would you guess who has blue screen rounds? Damn right. I think there is an e a relatively easy solution for that. Mostly getting far enough away and presenting ourselves in a full cover position. There's a chance that we kill him outright. There is a chance that this guy will be killed. Let's still try to go for the mech. Alright, maximum damage has helped us. 
And that might have just changed uh, the idea of what I wanted to do. I wanted to use ultrasonic lure. And I still think we could do that. The question is, is it necessary? Answer potentially no. Well, depending on how the shots really go. I mean, I could look, I could go with frostbite. But that would have been Mimic Beacon gone, Frostbite gone. And it would still leave this guy here untacked for now. So let's go with the easy solution, which is loss, do your dirty work. And this is 100% kill, so might as well reload to keep the momentum going. If you have a full magazine, you can move faster and further. That's good. This guy is moving back, uh, and thankfully so. Everybody else will follow him. So we don't have to care about the loss. He is tagged. He literally just ventured into all of the losses at the same time. Great. Fantastic. All right, moving up. Let's help him a little bit with dying. He seemed to have uh, not understood that concept very well yet. And... Look, Slicinator could get up here, and we get up here. Let's injure this massive lost here, because I want him to be in one-shot uh, range. And we're keeping our pack tightly together good the next pack is right there oh boy what a pack it is if they psionic bombers though they're up for a rude awakening because I can tell you, we do have um, we do have psionic uh, backlash or psionic feedback, which means if a psionic bomb hits like three, they get uh, three times the uh, the feedback, and that could easily be uh, six plus six plus six, so eighteen points of damage. So I could even even kill themselves with it. Nice, nice, nice. Yep, he learns a valuable lesson today. Do we have blue screen rounds? No, we don't. Where are the blue screen rounds? I think over here. Yep, that is the case. Moving into half cover, not perfect, but it is some cover. And these guys can deal with the Archon. And the Archon, can, quite frankly, can deal with them. I don't mind. What I do mind about is... 
killing the cord uh, cordixes or cordices. Trace around here. Yeah, we got the blue screen rounds up here. But moving to here, we can always grapple back up, which is the beauty of the grappling hook. Uh, dodge not really successful, fortunately. The Codex survived it. Full cover for Shinrod. And let's kill these guys. Go for high ground, but without cover. Half cover over here. They won't attack us. They will go over here. So there's a chance to ruin the life of this one little codex. 26% chance, not very good, but it is a chance. Never mind. The reason why I wouldn't want to, um, why I wouldn't really want to do an Overwatch is exactly that. However, there you go. You got your feedback. And it's only two points of damage and not more than that. Good. These guys make perfect targets for another ultrasonic lure. Alright, everybody just hits him. Come on. Nice, he's almost down. Okay. Look, we gotta get out of here. We gotta mark these fools. Grappling back up. Reloading. Then Scrapple doesn't take an action. And let's kill that Codex. Come on. Ah, too bad. Can't have it all. Excure 6. Moves into full cover. Reloads. And finally, Shinrod. Takes a good, decent position over here. And an overwatch. Yep, Sonic Bomb. Oh, wow. Okay. That was clever from the Codex. Unfortunately, we have uh, we had limited counterplay. We had like one option to kill him outright, and that was uh, that was a 65% shot, unfor which unfortunately missed. Oh, we're bleeding on top of it. 
unfortunately not dodged 50 50 chance of dodging didn't work out well let me suggest that the loss are actually dealing with these guys here Good, more losts are moving over. Still the, these three are now getting swarmed. The Archon finally goes down. Luckily, the enemy does not know how to explode this here. And we have pacified them right away. I'll keep this here just in case. It's said very difficult, so I would suspect we might end up fighting against the uh, Archon King again. Reloading. And you know what? That's just Overwatch. Um, I would like to go to here in an attempt to reposition better for next turn. Equally so, I think we're better off if we just let them duke it out. Negative damage. Okay, as long as they focus on the loss, I don't mind. Look, you do have dozens, literally. Oh, 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 oh. He's now flanking us, that's a problem. He exploded that whole thing. We're done. Oh, oh boy! I I definitely haven't seen that. Yes. Well, we're down to one HP, and I can tell you we're going to mimic beacon the next round. Holy moly, this is bad. That that grenade was a complete game changer. Incredibly uh, valuable for them. Wow. I am surprised about the quality of play that the engine has produced. Equally so, I am also surprised about how we're not able to hit anything. Well, finally.
Good, next turn. We will get further up. For now. The sort of uh, needs to be it. Wow, we have ta I wow, we have taken a beating. This is the hardest beating that I've taken in a while. That one grenade just completely turned it around. Very nice. Both of them are suffering. Oh, and that's a lot of damage. Medic. Come on, the bleeding needs to stop soon. Yeah, no longer bleeding. Okay, great. Slicinator moves up. Dozens and dozens of losts. Can we... There we go. There we go. Shield bearer. 88%. Down to 1 HP. Okay. Continuing to tap through, hopefully we can... Oh boy, that's a lot of lost. Alright, let's kill that shield bearer. <laughs> Shot wide. Running dry. Last shot. Come on, I just want the shield bearer. There we go. Destroyed the cover, okay. Ammo out. We stay in full cover for now because we have one hit point and I don't want to risk valuable operators. Good, time for a reload and an overwatch just to pin him. Uh, the The captain down. Deflation. Good, his overwatch won't uh, do him any good. And then we're left with a lot of loss, which we really need to clean up. I would assume, without knowing, uh, that they actually can kill him this turn. And of course, one thing that XCOM teaches you, don't assume. Because there is a good chance that you are going to assume wrongly. Okay, moving over here. Lost, 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 lost. The game cannot even produce enough uh, enemies to flip through. There is the officer. 
And there's the miss. Good old miss. Okay, let's try this again. Thankfully, we do have the grappling suit. To actually grapple us over here. And there's the officer. Good, moving all the way up to high ground and <laughs> missing that 90% shot. Mwah. Chef kiss. That stinks. Let's see what we can do. The person with literally the most uh, shots available was just gunned down. This is not going according to plan at all. First of all, get the dashers down. One, two, reload. These guys need to die. I wouldn't have imagined that loss can become such a Massive problem. Enemy eliminated. Target neutralized. Weapons burning at my fast. Good, I think we're going for the lost brood. Mainly to Soften it up. Alright. And now. Let's chew through these guys here. Another one. Good, very soon. I mean, we need to likely make up our mind how to deal with the bleeding out situation potentially slicinator needs to charge over pick her up next turn 
And then that's uh, that. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, it's a kill. Target eliminated. Kill confirmed. No longer a threat. On reserve. Two, four, six, eight. Yep. But before we're taking suboptimal shots, let's continue over here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's not a hundred percent kill. Let's get the others down first. Change of plans. Gotta move over here and next turn pick up and deliver. We also lost uh, our loot over there. getting swarmed just in time. Wow, this ru run has horribly gone wrong. Alright, carry the unit, pick up. And we're saving some equipment here. Gosh, have we gotten our te teeth kicked in, in in this uh, run? Dasher needs to die. Yes, please. Enemy destroyed. Run, draw ammo. Hostile neutralized. Rock and roll. My weapon spent. Okay, let's do a little trick here. Can we? Yes, we can. Re grapple and block this one here. Good, we're continuing to block the entrance here. We're down to two operatives. And I sincerely hope that this is going to be only lost. Otherwise, we're having a real problem. We have a mild chance of executing something that is more powerful, like uh, the Archon King. But in this, in this shape, I would feel horrible about approaching him. There's definitely another alien here. Same here. Let's motor. Let's 
the few lost that are still there might follow. Oh boy, oh boy, what a mission. Not the finest of my uh, my playstyle, but it was an attractive to watch mission. I would uh, vote it a 10 out of 10 from an action perspective, but not so much from how I have played it. The, the explosion with the canister behind actually caught me off guard. The AI doesn't actively seek to destroy these canisters otherwise i would have never taken cover there in the first instance but if it just so happened that the canister explodes and that's uh, happening on top of it and this was just brutal it was uh, almost 10 damage for three units completely erased our cover and shredded us so holy moly it was a really 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 good move the one Look at that. Gravely wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded. <laughs> Someone screenshot that uh, and maybe make a meme out of it. This is how this run feels. Getting by a sliver of health. And we got richly rewarded. Richly rewarded. Soldier bond available. Um, yes, please. Our work is proceeding as expected, Commander. Finally, Slicinator and XQ6 got a bond. Thank you. That was one of the things we wanted to do. Look at that. We got some fresh bonds happening down here. Which is good. Let's try to bond a few more of the remaining rookies so that we do have um more reserves if needed and we're okay on alien alloys we're actually okay on almost everything at this point we wanted to build a radio relay here because we have the problem with the avatar project still Well, at least we're going to know what he's doing next uh, turn, which is literally starting to hunt us down. That is bad. That is super bad. Revenge is one of the worst traits we could imagine. Her shotgun is deadly. Very deadly. Do, do never underestimate her shotgun. So that'll be a problem. And we now get an assault on the Avenger on top of it. XCOM will suffer greater loss to their will. Ah, irrelevant, irrelevant. Potentially going for that hidden, uh, for that hidden uh, event. This one worked out very well. Oh, we're at maximum context. I should have checked that. Okay, what do we? Uh, what can we do? They can't do that. We can't do that. We can't do that. Corporate actions will not be ambushed. Oh, that is good. Soldier capture. But negation of soldier captured. All right. So that's great. Rovi, you're the man. And you're going in. Divert is not available for it. But it would also only save us one day. Might as well put you in there together with Hayward. Um, and let's invest the intel. Giving you guys at least some equipment.
uh, we can give you a lure in case you are ambushed in tracer rounds and here we're going with tracer rounds plus a med kit decent the that this is a fantastic one uh, covert apps uh, will not get ambushed is okay i'd say that's actually a good order um but the 10 dodge is great breakthrough research oh that one is even better uh reduce avatar project can't do that too bad this here is great from a reward perspective this here is just great from um, a a power perspective we need to get that modular assault rifles fantastic let's do that first uh, the plus three hacking doesn't really matter all too much. Optional soldier here to not get captured, yes. And a scientist, yes. Okay, so this is good. This is very good. Uh, the extra hacking, mm, you could argue isn't bad either, but this actually is quite good. Um, I want to do that. The dodge, 10 dodge, is the maximum that a mission can yield. So we were we were really lucky with our uh, with our missions. Good, got a bolt caster now. Divat is uh, finally done with removing his negative traits. Wait, no, that is Hogbite. Tracy Elliot, that is Sane. Uh, so we want to get their negative traits out of the system as well. And let's upgrade the Boltcaster, shall we? I am considering maybe putting uh, that into the mix. Weapons. What are we de talking about? Uh, that's almost for free. I thought hiding muttering to so if we were to take that bold caster, just out of curiosity, like what does it mean? What does it actually mean? So bold caster. Uh, we're looking at 11 points of damage. It has an integrated 15% aim. Which might be good for our run. It's potentially one of those weapons where you want to take high ground. And then just continue to uh, shoot with a bolt caster. Cannot be dodged. Genetically empowered aliens are highly susceptible to be stunned. The 15% aim... I wasn't sure what kind of the standard mods would look like, but 15% aim. They only provide a single shot action, but this thing hits hard. Even an edge hit could potentially is okay. It is better at the beginning because uh, there the difference is still more pronounced. Uh, here, 8 to 10 versus 7 to 9. Yeah, since. Wait, it also has the plus 1, right? Yeah, so it's actually 9 to. 11 not bad i could i could see a use case for it frost bomb happens next and that's another 60 intel great So we could continue with beam cannons and storm guns. Look, we do not have that much that much that we need to research now. And each of uh, those weapons can give us a breakthrough. So there is a chance for another breakthrough happening. Uh, matter of fact, it's even doubled with uh, the laboratory. There's a higher chance for breakthroughs. We got the frost bomb now. Better make peace with the gods, Commander. I'm on my way. We got three cores from the supply run. 
which is fantastic. Potentially going for another war suit afterwards, and then, or we could already go for experimental heavy weapon. Um, yeah, no, we could also go for another war suit. Let's let's be real; they are really good. That extra hit point isn't bad either. Good. Finishing this here. Great. Contacts are maximized. So... Wait, wait, wait. What are we going to do? Do we have a free engineer? No, we don't. Yeah, the healing rate is nice to have. Not needed now. Let's put this one in. And make contact. Yes, please. There's the elder's assassin. Hard at work. Uh, let's check. Let's check the black market first. Maybe we got a uh, superior scope or a superior repeater. Which would have priority, I would definitely invest my intel rather in those modifications than in anything else. Market is open. This must be a joke. I must be dreaming. Where, where are the superior repeaters and the superior scopes? Why? Why is it not happening? I call bullshit on that. Good. Confirming some troopers. Okay. Well, a few things, right? Number one, let's make contact. There's no reason not to expand. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we I want to get system. to technical analysis as soon as possible. Bomb squad. That's not bad. Um, if we could pull it off. If we could pull it off. It would give us a lot more speed uh, to uh, create our heavy weapons. It's not needed, but it, uh, the technical analysis definitely is uh, the better choice. What I would want to do though is grab some supplies now. We need those. And we got a fat income of 700, which will shrink over time because we can't really fight against the chosen. Or we can't really kill them, rather. Operation Lost Terror. Uh, so another terror mission. Oh, it's, it's going to be interesting. Uh, because it is going to be a very difficult mission. Um, we need to produce a war suit. We're pretty much maxed out. Uh, the modular uh, assault rifle op, um, uh, mission, uh, the, uh, uh, the resistance ops, um, uh, the covert ops rather, that one was a game changer. So we finally can kind of modify our weapons further. Three instead of two. Mods are great. They are fantastic. So that is a positive. There is a however to uh, to that whole uh, thing. We still could require more, uh, could use more damage. And that, that would need to come uh, through Im improved laser weapons in general. So the breakthrough can happen via uh, the laboratory research. It's not too uh, uncommon, so it uh, would be great. That would bring us to a final score of 8 to 10, um, uh, no, actually 9 to 11 base damage with the assault rifles, three modifications in there. 
Now, the biggest grudge that I do have is we can't get uh, superior repeater and superior uh, scopes yet, uh, which means we will need to hopefully survive a few more months uh, in order to get at least some of them. Uh, in a perfect world, we would get scopes on all of our weapons simply because it is just such an important uh, thing to deal with, right? Um, yeah, and other than that, uh, the only other form of power grab that is left for us is um, superior heavy weapons. They are based on the amount of cores that we get, so supply rates will be important uh, to, to go through and it's just rare to get the blaster bomb so we will need to invest a lot um, we can still get uh, the other two armors from the alien rulers which is a cool additional feature uh, the uh, berserker suit uh, would be nice uh, because it has another movement ability slash melee attack ability uh, that, that could help us and on top of it it is uh, a just a strong heavy armor there is one last power grab that we could get which would be improved heavy armors it's also a breakthrough that gives you plus one hit point on those improved armors could use that in order to yeah simply get uh, more hit points going um, and other than that i think we're pretty much at the end of the line um, most of the enemies other than sector pots and gatekeepers i feel comfortable for manning but boy oh boy uh, those two yeah let's see how how we're going to do uh, how we're going to go about it maybe emp um, grenades are the way to go who knows uh, but that could be a solution just stun them or hope for a stun and then mass exodus on them try to try to kill them as fast as possible or hope for a repeater yeah all of those would be options Anyways, uh, that brings us to the end of today's mission. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. And uh, smash that like button as always, guys. And uh, maybe leave a comment about how you like the last mission. One hit point, two hit points, two hit points, one hit point. Can't get much closer than that, right? Take care and see you in two days. Bye-bye.